The National Land Agency, NLA, is on a mission to maintain a reliable land information infrastructure that facilitates proper administration and sustainable development. The NLA is executing that mission with an eye on delivering excellent service that takes advantage of cutting-edge technology. Several drones owned and operated by the NLA are part of the technological transformation behind the agency's enhanced delivery of service to clients. In 2018, when the entity commenced acquisition of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs or drones, it was just for its photogrammetry activities to aid in mapping and surveying. The approach we're using prior to 2019, uh, the technology behind it was becoming obsolete and we're having challenges um, finding parts for the equipment that we were using because it was primarily mechanical at the time. Uh, and having done the research, realized that what we wanted to do or what we were doing could have been done utilizing drones. The other side of the equation was the fact that we needed to be more efficient and also find ways of being cost effective in doing what we, we were doing. managed to get a core set of officers trained and implemented what we call train the trainer. So having trained a core set, we then utilize that same set of officers to train others within um, the, the unit. I think it's one of the best um, moves we would have made on the side of the agency because in terms of the transformation that it has um, brought about, since then, the NLA has expanded the use of drone technology beyond mapping and surveying to other areas of its operations such as land valuation and estate management. For mapping, we need to capture imagery of um, areas all across the island for various purposes. So, you know, if we need imagery to capture how um, the slope of a particular property is, then we capture the imagery for that. Or we'll capture the imagery for a town and we will use that to update our maps in-house. Cadastral surveys, they want to be, be able to find boundaries, precise boundaries, and the, the drones can actually assist in that regard. Drones make it possible for the National Land Agency to capture aerial images in areas with rugged and challenging terrain, which otherwise would have been difficult and costly to execute. We do spend less time now to get the same work done, and we get that work done at higher quality and with greater precision. And so, for example, for valuation, um, we've done properties that are over a thousand acres. And before, a, a valuator would actually take more than five days to actually, you know, um, peruse the property to find out what is there. And they wouldn't really get um, everything that's on ground. They would just get the best, they would do the best that they can. But now we can take half a day to do that with the drones and we have imagery of everything. And so what you find as well, in addition to the efficiency, the, the capital outlay, you know, the money that we spend is much, um, it's much more efficient now as well. Aerial images captured with the drones are processed using other technology to create the various maps and three-dimensional products. These data are then returned to us in the photogrammetric section that we use um, different technology, um, mainly drone to map, to stitch these information, um, these digital files together in order to create what we call an autophoto. From this autophoto, we can extract whatever information we need, mainly like roads, building, drain, and the contour to create what we call all a digital or paper-based map. And what we find with the drone images, we can have, have accuracy up to five centimeter. This we couldn't achieve before. Generally, the accuracy from the aerial photos we have before was like five meters, plus or minus five meters. Now we are down to five centimeters. So it greatly helped us in, you know, in producing highly accurate map for the agency and the country at large. As it relates to creation of cadastral maps, we are exploring the extent to which that can actually be done. And so one of the products that we are creating, and this is kind of a futuristic product that we're experimenting with, is a 3D cadaster where we now give a real life look to what the data is out there. The future is technology. 
And the National Land Agency is embracing this future as it continues to deliver improved services to support Jamaica's sustainable development and economic growth. <music>